guys, so as requested, I was going to do a really quick review on the graphic novel Blankets. As you can see, it is a hunk of a graphic novel. It is very large. Basically, Blankets is about this young boy growing up and having his first love and talking about his experience as a young boy, things like that. And it's actually supposed to be a reflection of the author, Craig Thompson. I thought Blankets was really good. I liked it a lot. I could see how people would not like it because it doesn't exactly go anywhere. It, like as I mentioned, it is just kind of a series of stories. It kind of does lead up to him being about 20 years old and um, how his life has changed so much from him being a child and how he was raised. One thing that really did surprise me about the book was the ending to it. I was not expecting that kind of ending. I actually was flipping through. I'm like, oh, did I skip something? Was, is this the end? Is there a sequel? It is. It does kind of end just in the middle of nowhere but I think that was the intention things have changed so much up until this point and things are going to continue to change it really didn't need to go any further and also it didn't go the route that I'm sure a lot of people myself included thought it was going to it certainly leads itself up to you be like oh okay well clearly this is gonna happen these people are gonna get back together and it's gonna be happy and blah 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 and it's not that at all which is kind of refreshing. It's nice. It's really not what you expect at all. I do want to talk about the art in this. Um, it is a very, very basic art style. I think it really does lend itself to the narrative. The thing that's really cool about this art is that it does have this simplistic style, but it does add a lot of surreal elements into it. There is a part where he's burning all his art pieces that he's done as a child, and he's burning it in the fire, and um, he's kind of sitting there, and the art is literally spewing out of his mouth like it's exiting his body it's really it's really interesting and I think the art really is fits so well with the story despite how large it looks it is a very short a very quick read I read it in two days I probably could have read it in one had I had a little more time the stories are short enough and interesting enough and the chapters are very short that I think you, anybody could get through it very very quickly the story is very relatable I think a lot of people could relate to the story of this boy growing up with a very religious family you know being bullied at school and a bunch of other things things. That's really all I have to say about it. Um, I really do think it's good. I would recommend it. It's really inexpensive for how large it is. I got it for 20 bucks on Amazon, so I would definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't already. If you guys have any other suggestions for things you'd like me to read, I would love to hear it if you want to just put them down below. I apologize for how I look right now. I am going to a Halloween party, and this is my shitty Halloween costume, which is a broken porcelain doll, so pretty exciting. I love you guys and miss you guys and really hope to be making videos regularly soon. Okay, hope to see you soon.